hey guys i'm destiny welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna be doing a top knot bun tutorial and how i lay my edges or my baby hairs whatever you want to call them i call it edges some people call it baby hair it don't matter but that's what this video will be about i do have relaxed hair but it is time for a perm as you can tell i got some like a little new growth i don't know if y'all could tell or not but it's time for a perm and I do this style mostly when I have dirty hair not too much when my hair is freshly um relaxed I like to have a little texture to my hair it helps hold the style up more because I do have thin hair and it may not look like it because my bun is so big but if you keep watching this video you'll see the trick that I used to get my bun to look so big and so thick like I got a lot of hair but, um, yeah, enough talking. If you want to see how I accomplish this look, continue watching. Okay, first, we're going to start with just some wild hair. And we're going to brush it. I use a paddle brush. Got a lot of hair in it. Paddle brush, weave brush, whatever you want to call it. And a lot of people that has asked me to do this also ask, um, what products do you use in your hair? And you will see throughout this video that I'm not lying when I say none. I just have good hair like that. But if you need to put something in your hair, some days I do use water. And sometimes I may use Eco Styling Gel. The Eco Styling Gel I use is this kind in the green, the green container. Um... I don't even know if they have like different names because a lot of people that I watch or or I see use a different color thing they all say the same thing so I don't know what's really different about them maybe the hair types is different so the hair types may be different but you know I use the green one because that's what I was introduced to and I was like oh girl I gotta go give me some of these because I was using my um, teammates and she had the green one and I just I've been using it ever since like that's like my second container of Eco Salon gel so yeah and it's almost gone so get you some Eco Salon gel see I got this little corner lid for right here so yeah get you some Eco Salon gel but yeah once you have everything up in its place where you want it I like my buns high but not like not too high to like where it's sitting, sitting on top of my head but it's like at the top of my head you know it's like at the beginning of the top of my head, like from my ear on up. That's where I like my buns. Like right beside my ears. Right beside my ears. Not all the way sitting on top of my forehead. But yeah, you just position it with this brush right here. And then you come with your hard brush. This is an old hard brush. Actually, I need a new one because the bristles are actually getting soft. That's how much I use it. But you're just going to brush your hair up. As smooth as you can. If you have rougher hair, you can use whatever hair moisturizer you like. I just don't like to use tech, I mean, um, product in my hair a lot because it makes your hair all gooey and stuff. And then you have to wash it more often unless you want to walk around with nasty hair. And I don't like to do that. And I like my hair to be um, as light as possible at all times so if i use something it'll be water or like i said eco styling gel if i'm trying to like really slay my hair like with a hairstyle other than that my hair is flat iron and just going with the flow so once you get it all smooth and where you want it just go around with your hands and slick it up some more because you want your hair to be as straight and as smooth as possible you don't want no bumps no lumps no nothing no hair crisscrossing each other and nothing and that tends to happen in the back of my hair so once i um get the front all um straighten up i go back in the back with a tight grip around my ponytail so i'm not um, loosening the front my hair be overlapping okay just straighten out the back Ugh. And this ponytail takes time, y'all. My arms be hurting so bad when I'm doing my buns, y'all. It makes no sense at all. That's how long it takes me to do them. But I get faster 
as time progressed. But like when I first started doing my own hair and I was doing my ponytails, I used to like my ponytails. Ponytails to be sleek AF. So I used to spend, I was going to say hours, but to be realistic, like minutes, like 30 minutes, 20 minutes. Doing one simple ponytail, I swear. Okay, once everything is slicked up, and that's when you put all your product on your hair when you're slicking it up and you combing it in. I mean, brushing it in with the hard brush. But since I didn't use any product on my hair, I didn't have to worry about that. But you can use product on your hair. That's just my preference. I don't like to. So you tie it with your scrunchie. Tight. Very tight. Your head might hurt, but still, your hair going to be slaying. So very, very tight. Got hair in my face. Y'all, I got so many bumps on my face. It's ridiculous. And they coming out of no freaking where. Nowhere. And I usually don't even have like bumps like this on my face. Like, I think I jinxed myself when I said I have good skin and I don't really get acne. I'm getting bumps everywhere. And I think, I only think it's because, um, I mean, I think it's only because I got my eyebrows waxed that time. And I don't know if you can use, like, dirty strips or dirty anything. I don't know. But my eyebrow was, like, breaking out just this one. And then the bump started spreading all over my face. I'm like, so was it the eyebrow? Or what is it like? I don't know what it is, but my face been breaking out lately. Anyway, <laughs> that's beside the point. Get your ponytail, brush it straight up. Once you have it straight up, you're going to start teasing your hair. And I have a similar bun tutorial. The other bun tutorial that I did is just a, a neater bun. This is like a top knot or a messy bun, whatever you want to call it. You tease it as much as you want. I like my buns to be big, so I tease a lot. And you can, this is for all hair types, natural, relaxed. You can do this with your hair as long as you can um, slay this part of your hair. Like get it as smooth as you want, smooth as you can. Then this part is just easy. So what I'm going to do, everything is all teased out. So I'm going to, I like my hair to go this direction. So I'm just going to twist it around. And make sure, I have a problem when I do these buns. I always have hair sticking up right there. So I'm going to try to. Not make it stick up this time. Make sure you tuck in at the bottom. Make sure you tuck at the bottom because you don't want your bun coming loose. And this is where your bobby pins come into play. Sometimes I use one, sometimes I use three. I want to see how many I need. It all depends on how many you need. So here's one bobby pin. Oh snap, this might be in the one to go. Ouch. Alright, I'm just gonna put one more right here. Towards the front. Alright, once your body pins are in, you have your bun. You can play with it, do whatever you want. This is how the bun look. Now, you gotta slay your edges. So this is where your toothbrush, and sometimes I use water or edge control, like I said on my hair, sometimes I use water or edge control, but for the sake of me not having any water by me, I'm gonna use the Eco Styling Gel. So open your container. Get your little toothbrush. Get you a little bit, not a lot, because you're gonna be working in sections. You're not just gonna. Well, you know what? I'm gonna lay my hair back some more since I didn't use any product and I need to perm really bad. It's gonna get a little eco styling gel. I got hair in my brush. I got hair in all my brushes. I'm just gonna start from this angle and just brush my hair up. And this is just touching up your edges. 
usually if I would have um, put product in my hair, use this Eco Styling Gel or water while I was forming my ponytail, I wouldn't have to do this. But since I did it, I'm just going to go ahead and put some on. For the sake of this video, if I was going somewhere, I wouldn't I wouldn't have just done that. I would have just laid my baby hairs and went on. But I want y'all to slay, so I need to show y'all. So you just keep going. You're not using a lot, you guys, because you don't want it to be all clunked up. So you just spread that on out. Back over here. And you can do the same for the back if you want, but you don't have to. And you can just do the rest with your hands. Make sure everything is going in place. Look how big my forehead is, y'all. Look at that bump. My goodness. Now this is where I slay and lay my baby hairs. Now, I've changed up my style. I used to do like... I used to lay it like going this way and right here and right here and the same going to that side. But now I like to pull from the middle of my head and make all of this go this way instead of separate in the middle. Like I have a middle part with my baby hairs. So you're going to hold this piece of your hair because you don't want to pull out your actual hair. I hate when people use... I mean, they pull out their hair, the little the little short edges they have, and they be coming all the way down here. Now, I actually think I have baby hair, okay? Some people may say I don't have baby hair, but I think I have baby hair. I know I have baby hair. So, I just brushed my baby hair back, so I'm just going to pull it back down. So, I'm going to pull from this side and just swoop it over. Now, when you swoop in your hair, you want to... Get it, pull it down, brush it down, and just put your finger right there so it can make that swoop look. Hold on, wait a second. So you can make that swoop look. And you're going to come in and wipe all the extra um, Eco Styling Gel off your forehead when you're done. So once you get that swoop look, you go on. Don't forget to hold your hair down and you're just gonna keep doing a little swoop method or you can do your hair your baby hairs however you want it this is just how I do it I swoop it y'all this is so hard for me I'm trying to do this in a camera and I don't have a mirror around me so I'm trying to like look up and do this and all that crap so bear with me because I usually do my hair in a mirror and not on this little camera space. Okay. And you're not using a lot of Eco Styling Gel. Just a little. You probably won't be able to see it on this brush. See that little tip right there? That's about how much you need. And I just pull that down a little and give it a little curve. Y'all, I cannot see. Uh, like that. Now I'm going to go to the other side and start like right about here, right around here. And make sure you get the little swoop. Put your hand right there so you can do your little swoop. Didn't get none that time. I cannot see you guys. Bear with me. Alright, and that is basically how I do this. I'll be right back. I'm going to go look in my mirror right over there, and I'll be right back to show you 
it because I can't I can't do this I can't do this okay I really didn't even fix much I just had to make sure this was super right because I can't see and on this like I can't see but this is the finished look of the bun the famous bun that everyone asks me about I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give this video a thumbs up smash the thumbs up button smash the like button subscribe to my channel please subscribe to my channel share this video with your friends like your friend girls that like to wear buns and stuff share this video with them because they may find it helpful and I'll see you guys in my next video